Hey guys, so I know that number eight is giving some of you um, some issues, and that's fine. It's a difficult problem. Um, so I wanted to give you an example that looks similar to it so that you can figure this out. So here's a very similar um, example problem. It says there are two isotopes of lithium. One has an average atomic mass of 6.015 AMU, and the other has an atomic mass of 7.016 AMU. The average atomic mass of lithium is 6.941 AMU, and we want to know the percent of natural abundance for each isotope. So we know that the average atomic mass is equal to the mass of our first isotope times the percentage, and then plus the mass of the second isotope times the percentage. Whenever I do these problems, I always convert these into decimal form. I prefer to work with smaller numbers than larger numbers. So I know my average atomic mass, and that is 6.941, and I know the mass of each of my isotopes. So now I have two blanks, and that's kind of an issue. Um, we don't know what either of the percentages are, and so you have two different variables. And so you can say that one is X and one is Y. So when we think about percentages, when you add these two together, they equal 100, right? And so because I convert my percentages into decimal form, X plus Y then equals one, right? We're just dividing by 100. So one of these is going to be X and the other one is going to be Y and it doesn't really matter which one is which, but I, I'm not solving for two variables here because that makes solving an equation very, very difficult. So what I do is I get it in terms of X. So that means Y is equal to one minus X, right? Using algebra here, I subtract X from each side so that I can plug into my equation. So now I only have X's in my problem and I can solve. So I have 6.941 is equal to 6.015 X plus 7.016 times negative 7.016 X, right? So I just distributed in here in order to get my equation. Now I have to combine like terms so I'm going to get all of my non-x's, just my constants, over to the left side and combine all of my x's on the right side. So I subtract both sides from both sides over here. And when I do that, 6.941 minus 7.016, get negative 0.075. And then I want to combine these two, so 6.015 minus 7.016, that comes out to negative 1.001x, right? Still solving for x here. So I have to divide both sides. And so that I get x as 0.0749. So this is our decimal form, and if we were to convert this into a percentage, now we multiply by 100, right? So when I multiply it by 100, I get 7.49%. Well, we set X as this one, so that means that lithium 6.015 has a percentage of 7.49%. We know that all percentages add to 100, so lithium 7.016, would be 100 minus 7.49. And that comes out to 92.51%. So hopefully this video helps you figure out how to do number eight.